This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Squarespace. Rand Paul, of course, senator from Kentucky. They're having a, a subcommittee meeting in the Senate. Uh, it's for primary health and aging. And he's going to decide that he's got a, a, a brilliant theory about uh, the health care plan that the Democrats passed. And he's got a great analogy for it. Listen to this moron talk about it. With regard to the idea of whether or not you have a right to a health care, you have to realize what that implies. It's not an abstraction. I'm a physician. That means you have a right to come to my house and conscript me. It means you believe in slavery. It means that you're going to enslave not only me, but the janitor at my hospital, the person who cleans my office, the assistants who work in my office, the nurses. If you have a right to their services, basically once you imply a belief in a right to someone's services, do you have a right to plumbing? Do you have a right to water? Do you have a right to food? You're basically saying that you believe in slavery. You're saying you believe in taking and extracting from another person. Our founding documents were very clear about this. You have a right to pursue happiness, but there's no guarantee of physical comfort. There's no guarantee of concrete items. In order to give something concrete or someone's surface, you got to take it from someone. So there's an implied threat of force. If I'm a physician in your community and you say you have a right to health care, do you have a right to beat down my door with the police, escort me away, and force me to take care of you? That's ultimately what the right to free health care would be. If you believe in a right to health care, you're believing in basically the use of force to conscript someone to do your bidding. All right, so let me regulate on this moron who thinks he's an intellectual, like he, you know, oh, uh, I've read Ayn Rand. Do you know what the fountainhead says? Listen, you moron, that's not how it works. You, you say, oh, because you have a right to something, that means anyone you have that right from, in this absurd analogy, is a slave. Well, we have a right to make sure that our life and property are protected, as he himself uh, mentioned there. So does that mean the cops are our slaves? That we go over to the cops and the firemen and we say, you are my slave, I conscript you. No, we have a right to it, so we pay people who volunteer to be cops and firemen, by, by volunteer meaning they have voluntarily joined that profession, and they do that job. Nobody's making them, they're not slaves, nobody made you a doctor, nobody says you have to take this patient or that patient. Okay, for example, here's another one. You have a right to a lawyer. Okay, if you're charged criminally, you have a right to a lawyer. Does that mean all lawyers are slaves? No. There are some lawyers that choose to be defense lawyers that are, you know, do public defense as an example. They're not slaves. We have that right. Doesn't mean oh, I have constricted you have taken that right from someone and given it to someone else. Ann Rand told me we should never let anybody uh, take any of our money. We should just hoard it all. We should hoard it all and we should be individualistic and we should never work in a community together. He's a child. He thinks he's so smart, a pseudo-intellectual. Oh, let me tell you about slavery. What do you know about slavery, Rand Paul? What do you know? I mean, other than the fact that it is grotesquely offensive, do you know what happened in slavery? Do you know what happened? And you're going to come and talk to me about how you're a rich doctor, but you're a slave? Please. But put aside the offensiveness. It makes no sense. And he's so proud of himself, so smug. Idiot. If you want to build a website or a blog, where do you go? You go to squarespace.com. With Squarespace, you don't need any coding experience. And the best part is, you can even edit your website on your iPhone. They give you 24-7 support. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two-week trial for free.